and with the not subscribe to my channel yet, kindly do it so that you don't miss any of my videos. So without any delay, we will just start it. And today we are gonna learn about GoLang return values. So how can we return values through functions in GoLang? Today we are gonna just learn about that. So without any delay, let's get started. Da so um, in GoLang, you can return values in multiple, in very, in uh, in multiple different ways, right? So in many ways, you can return values in GoLang, and today it will be very interesting over here. First of all, we have imported FMT. Then we have a function, my function, and in this we are accepting two integer arguments. And over here, after this, we are specifying our return value uh, return value type so whatever value will return from our function what its type uh, what type it is gonna be right what type or uh, which type of it uh, which type is it gonna be so we are returning x plus y so whatever x we are getting um, plus y that we are returning so x plus y will be an integer so um uh, so over here we will return x plus y that will be an integer value and we are just printing my function one two so this will over here return us x plus y so three and it will print for us three if we try to return a string over here we will obviously have an error like over here i am trying to return a string over here we are gonna we are gonna have an error that um cannot use x plus y type untype string as type int in return argument so we have said that the return type will be int so it is expecting an int but it is getting an getting a string that's why it is leading um to an error next we have this example where we can see which variable we are gonna return so over here we have a my function it is accepting two integer uh, values x and y and this is saying that this method is gonna return an integer value that uh, basically this is saying that this uh, method will return or the result variable so there will be a result variable in this method it is saying and that is gonna be returned and the result value uh, variables type will be integer so this is saying there will be a result variable in this uh, function of type integer and that result variable will be returned and over here we have a result variable that is x plus y and we're just returning so automatically it knows now what to return it needs to return the result variable so result variable was x plus y that is 3 over here when we get 1 and 2 so it will return 3 right so this will return 3 now and what we are doing in, in our main function we are just printing my function 1 comma 2 over here we are getting the return value 3 so it will print 3 for us similarly if we just did result value if we set result value to an a string it it will say that a result was expected to be an int and um, was a string cannot use a string type on type string as type int in assignment so we get we are getting the same error right now over here what uh, what we are doing uh, we have specified that oh sorry so we have specified over here that we are gonna return a a result variable of type int but uh, it is not compulsory to return the result variable over here uh, um, instead of the result variable we are returning 5 so now this um, function will return 5 instead of the result variable whatever result uh, results value will be it does not matter because now we are returning 5 and when we are calling my function 1 comma 2 results value will be 3 but it is our method is returning 5 so still it will work though we have specified that we need to return the result variable of type int still it will we are able to return any other value that we, over here is 5 so when we print this we will get 5 right but there is something in this also it is not important to return the result variable but 
it is important to re return the type of the result variable so it is important to return the value of the type of the result variable so results variable type was in and we are saying that this method will return the result variable right that is of type int but it isn't important to uh, return the result variable we can return any other value but that any other value should be the data should be of the data type of our result variable over here that is int so over here whatever um, if you are not returning the result variable we need to return such a value that is of type um, that is the type of our result variable so that is int results variable data type is int so now we can only return a int value if we are returning result or not we only need to um, return an int value it is not matter if you are re returning result or not the thing that matters is that uh, we need to return an integer value so over here i am trying to return a string but this will give us an error because it needs we we need to return um basically a uh, um a integer right so over here it was returning string so we are getting an error over here quite cool now let's see this uh, example over here when we have specified that um, um, we need to return the result variable so instead of given uh, giving it like this like normally return because it now knows that result variable is going to be returned we can specify also that we are returning the result variable so in the future we will have no confusions right so this will work the same as before when we were giving just the return keyword so we are getting 3 cool now we have another example in this what we are doing we are returning the result variable right normally and in our main method whatever the return value that is coming from this function that is being saved in total and then we are printing the value of the total variable so whatever this method is returning that is 3 over here because 1 plus 2 is 3 that is being saved in a total variable so total value is now 3 right and we are just printing total so we will get 3 on our screen right quite cool quite 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 cool now in this example what we are doing let's see in this example we are returning two values so over here we have a my function it is accepting two parameters x integer and y string and the, um, over here the result it is returning result right so this will return two values a result that is of integer type and text one that will be of string type so over here in this function result is x plus x right so x plus x is basically whatever is basically x into 2 so whatever x value we get into 2 is the result value and text 1 equals y plus world so whatever y value is plus world right plus world return and uh, this uh, world return right and we will return this return this and result and text one will be returned and over in our function mean we are just calling my function passing it 5 so 5 so is our integer so result equals um, 5 into 2 or x plus x 5 plus 5 that is 10 and the second argument is hello so over here it is getting text um, y that is hello right and it is setting text 1 equals hello plus a space world space world right and um, then we are, whatever the return values were that are being printed so the return value was this was 10 and this was hello world so 10 and hello world will be printed right so 10 and hello world are being printed right now the two values that are being returned from our method can be saved in different variables 
so over here the same values are being returned but um, the values that are being returned the first value that will be returned will be saved in our a variable now we are saying that it should be saved in the a variable and the second value that will be returned will be saved in our b variable and then we can work on these uh, separate variables and over here we are just we can uh, separately work on them but over here we are just printing a comma b so over here also we'll get 10 and hello world quite cool and if we only want to see one uh, value that is being returned from the function so over here result and text one both are being returned but if we want to save only one value like for example text one then what we can do uh, uh, we, uh, we the value that we don't want the value we don't want to save there we can add uh, underscore so it will not save that value in any variable so over here it, we are giving underscore comma b so uh, the first value that will be returned will be saved nowhere right so it will nowhere be saved and it will just vanish but the second value that uh, is returned will be saved in our b variable right so that will be saved in our b variable and we can we are printing over here our b variable so b variable value is hello world right because text one that was being returned was hello world and in our main function that hello world is being saved in b and when we print b we'll get hello world right we are getting hello world and now if we if we uh, if we didn't want to save like the text and only wanted to save the integer value that was being returned so instead of giving the underscore over here where we were uh, we want to receive the integer value where we are receiving the integer value that is the first return value so this is the first return value so uh, we want to save this first return value that is the integer value so we can give the variable name over here and we don't want to save the second return value so we can we are just giving an underscore to ignore that value right and we can now we are now printing a so it was uh, a whose value is 10 because we are passing 5 5 plus 5 is 10 and 10 is being returned so over here it will print 10 for us right so it is printing 10 for us and this was it guys i hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos Day!